Hello everybody. I'm going to teach you a little bit about MOPSA. So one of the points that we use that um, increases chi the most in the body is called Stomach 36, Susan Lee, which is found by placing your hand, four fingers, below the patella, below your kneecap, and following that across from your shin bone approximately one finger out you can feel it and what we look for is just a little divot there's usually a hole and I'm going to take my big black marker and I'm going to mark that place for you so that you can keep your eye on that what we're looking for and I'm going to first start off with a little pole moxa so we have two kinds this is mugwort that's been compressed and wrapped into a paper. It is the smokiest. And I'm actually not going to burn this. I'm just going to show you um, how we would do this. So we would take and light the end and get it nice and hot and red and drop off the ashes and then make circles right above this point. So tonifying, going clockwise. And you would um, adjust the depth, placing the hand here, maybe saddling on either side so that you can feel on your fingers how hot it will be. If I'm doing this on another person, they I can't feel their skin, so I would know how uh, hot it is by having my fingers there. For you, you can feel it. And we can hen peck, we can go in, like we're driving the heat inside. We can do clockwise motion. We can hold it in place and just warm it up. And you should see a light redness happening. Um, definitely feel heat in the body. Systemically, you maybe begin to sweat. And what this does uh, is, you know, um, increase white blood cells and um, increases your immune system. So um, works directly in the blood and it's a great way to warm up the body during winter time. And if I had a pain or an ache, I would use this to disperse that pain and stuck chi, we call it. All right. And the second one is a uh, mugwort, same plant that's been compressed into charcoal and this is considered the smokeless version. I would take this one and I would light it up also and until it turns really red, blow, 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 and do the same thing, all right? So it's just a different version, a little more smokeless. Um, it's activated in charcoal, uh, so it's not quite as hot as the, the pole version. And then this one we're actually gonna do is a little stick on so it's a pole version too um, and it's indirect although it's sitting on the skin it has a barrier I'm gonna place it right on that spot <laughs> let's use another one to make sure it sticks and that's why we have a container of water around light it up it's nice to have a torch uh, so you don't burn your fingers. But a lighter usually works in these little cones quite well. A little coaxing, blowing. And there it goes, a little redness. And you can see the smoke. And because I'm on an incline, I'm not gonna let it uh, burn too far. Uh, otherwise the ash will fall down. So it's nice to have your leg nice and flat um, and on the belly, uh, wherever you're going to do moxa, it's nice to have gravity help you in that ash falling process. And we have containers to take this off and we would put this into a tray and we would snuff it out. And we have big snuffers for the pole like this and we would just grind down that pole right into the snuffer and put it out. I like to also keep a jar of rice, a mason jar of rice, uh, because as you will find out, this mugwort likes to smolder, doesn't uh, flame up, which is why we use it for heat and not um, for flame. But it 
can trick you into believing that it's out and it will continue to smolder. So I'll drop it into a jar with rice and turn the, the lid so that the oxygen will go away. And that's basically your intro to moxa.